friends, you are welcome to this lesson. In today's lesson, we will be doing something like this. This is the spiral RAM using tecla structure. And so this is what we are going to be practicing how to do in today's lesson. And so stay tuned as we go straight away into the lesson. Here my, is my grid uh, set out. So if I select on one of these grids, you can see the coordinate of the Y, X and Z of these grids, just like this. And so if I click on the window, in the drop down menu, you will notice that uh, I have uh, this as my 3D view. Right, so I want to be enabling some views that I have created. So I will straight away do control I. And so if I scroll down, I want to be enabling grid like C. Right, so I bring it to the visi visible view just like that. So I will just click on close. I'm not having two views. All right. And so I will be I want to be making this uh, green like see views visible by double clicking on that to have this just like this. So having this like this, I'll go straight away to the concrete panel and then I'll click on this beam in the drop down menu. I'll select spare beam. So I'll select that just like that. Alright, so in this provisions. Yeah, I have my profile. You can see the thickness is 200 and then the weight is uh, 3000 mm. Alright, I can decide to change the material in this provision. Maybe I can change it to white, depends. And then the other place you need to also make changes is the geometry. Alright, so the rotations is going to be 1500. While the total riser. This is adjustable depending on the height that you intend your RAM to attend. Alright, so I want my RAM to attend the height of 6 meter, which is 600, which is 6000 millimeter rather. Okay, so having this like this, what I will just need to do is uh, I will just pick uh, the, the start point of the RAM. I will pick this place to be the start point of the RAM. Can I pick the center point of the RAM? If I want this point to be my center point, I pick that. And then I will just click on the wheel of the mouse to insert that. Alright? Just as simple as this. So this is my RAM. Inserted successfully. I click on this arrow to interrupt the command. I can be able to also rotate my RAM. Depends. Alright? So, and then the width of the RAM is also adjustable. Just for instance, you get the, this RAM now selected. You can be able to adjust the width of this RAM to attend 5000 width with this same thickness. Alright? If you also want, you can as well change this thickness to 250, just like that. And then click on modify to enable the effect. Just like this, okay. And so the same thing applicable to the height to which we want the RAM to attend. The way it is, the height is six thousand mm. And so I can't decide to make it nine thousand mm. Click on modify, and you can see the height is adjusted successful. And so this is a typical. Example of how to model RAM using Tecla structure. And this brings us to the end of this lesson. I want you to stay tuned. Give the lesson a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. For more advanced lessons. Bye for now.